Okay, from the last lesson, we need to get rid of this um, this error. So, what do we typically do to get rid of this error? Well, what we typically do is we create some special um, public functions called get and set. So, what we would have in this case is we would say we have a void public variable called set principle which will take a double that's all we need to know there. We'll also have a double um, subroutine called get principle. Now this thing's normally set up to always default Uh, we always set them up. So if we want a variable principle, we do set, and we capitalize the first letter, and then we use the name of the, the variable. So these are a bit like, um, the, the setting would be a bit like pressing the accelerator pedal to change the amount of petrol going into the engine. The getting would be like seeing the speedometer on the dashboard of a car. Um, again, an interface type thing. So an accelerator pedal and a, speedometer outputs are uh, like get and set. They are interface things into the engine and inside the engine we have the actual petrol or gasoline going into uh, the engine, whatever they're going to, carburetor or cylinders or whatever it is that's inside the car. So later on, as we go through the program, we'll add a pair of these for each of these variables. Actually, we, let, let's just let's just do it now while we're here, shall we? It might, um, I'll make life a bit shorter later on. So one, two, three, and rate years to maturity payment type. So this would be rate. It is a double, thankfully, which is nice. Um, years to maturity. So we'll set years to maturity and we'll get years to maturity to capitalize that to Y. And then we'll get and set the payment type. So set the payment type, get the payment type, to uppercase this letter here, this letter here. Conventionally, uh, I've got obviously this is a chart rather than um, a double. Now that's the header declarations done. We're going to have to, let's, let's just see, let's get back to the main program and see how this has solved our problem. So get to principle will now return, like, like an accelerator sp a speed out, speedometer, will return this hidden variable back to the main program. So if we go back in here, we're now going to return not principle directly, but the function re output from get principle. And let's see if that fixes our problem that we had here. So let's just give it a whiz. Build failed. What's wrong with that? Looks all right to me. Oh, yes, I haven't actually written these functions in here. so. Functions don't currently exist in here, so what I need to do then is I need to create these functions in the bond C++ file. They're all going to be bond class things. We'll fix all this later on. La da 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 dee, la da 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 da. That's all eight of them. Um, we'll just say that this is prin. Say that this is rat. Say that this is ytm. And that this is type. And. Uh, set principle. So we're going to set principle equal to print. It's easy enough. In here, we're going to return the principle. So 
return a principal let's do the same all the way down here so this is going to say rate equals rat the input this is return rat just a private variable set in the h file ah let's run just as quick as i can um, void to did set um, years to maturity equals ytm return years to maturity why is this a problem here oh return rates right Not return rat and the final one final pair to do with the type variable uh, this will say payment type equals input type. And the last one, um, return type. Lovely, I think we're all done there. So hopefully this will work now. Let's just check. So we've got the header file. We've got the basic construct. It doesn't do anything. Here, it does it in the C++ program. We declare all of these get and set a pair for each of our private variables. Don't have to have them. Don't always have to have the setting ones particularly. But, you know, in this case we will. There's the four private variables inside the engine. And then in the main program we're calling get principal. That will go into here. That will go down to the get principle and it will return principle, which is the private variable declared in the class. Let's run that, see if it works. Build fail semantic. What's wrong with this? Mm, that's no good, is it? What's going on here? Where's the errors? That all looks all right. But this one. What have I done wrong in here? Oh, there we are. Return to. Oh, yeah. Well done. Payment. Did it a bit too quick there, a bit like the old hair on the tortoise there. Let's try that again. Crossed finger. I've crossed my toes this time. Hooray! And now, after all that jiggery pokery, you can see that that function there has returned the 100 cent back. I think that, that is possibly enough for the moment. Let's just have a quick recap. We've got the basic constructors are declared in the header file. We've got the four pairs of get and set. Um, functions these are like brake pedals and speedometers and then we've got the private variables inside the engine which actually make the car work or in this case the bond then inside the executable code which we would send out as a as a compiled piece of code we've got the bond constructor which sets up these defaults and then we've got the eight functions, the four pairs, which get and set the four private variables. Quite a bit of typing, but hopefully you're getting the idea. I'll see you next time.